Yo, hey everybody, in this video I'm going to explain histograms in Matplotlib. Histograms are a visual representation of the distribution of quantitative data. In short, we can visualize the distribution of data. Histograms group values into bins. Think of these like intervals. We'll count how many fall in each range, in each bucket or bin. Histograms are great for statistics and probability. In many cases, you'll see a bell curve distribution. Now, in this demonstration, I recommend using NumPy because we'll need a lot of data to work with. With NumPy, we can generate some random numbers. Here's how we can do that. We're going to create some test scores. We're a teacher and we have 100 students that each took a test. We'll create a visual to display the distribution of scores. We'll create a NumPy array of scores. Scores equals NP axis random, then call the normal function for a normal distribution. There's a few keyword arguments here we'll pass in. The first is LOC. LOC equals, LOC is the location of the center, the median of our data. For the center, we'll say that the median is 80, 80%. 80 All of the test scores are going to cluster around this score of 80. Most students will do pretty well. If this were a lower score like 50, that means most of the students failed. That's because the most frequent score is going to be around 50%. We'll set that to be 80. Now we'll need a scale. This is another keyword argument. Scale equals. Scale is the standard deviation, the spread. How far away are the scores going to deviate from the center? The higher the number, the greater the deviation. Let's start with 10. And then we need a size. How many numbers do we want to generate? We'll set size equal to 100. We have 100 test scores. Let's test what we have currently. We'll access PLT, call the hist function for a histogram, pass in our NumPy array of scores. Then we do have to call the show function to show our histogram. Access PLT, call the show function. Here's what a histogram looks like. We set the center to be 80. Scores around that number are going to be the most frequent. And we've set the scale to be 10. 10 is the standard deviation. That's a statistics and probability term. How far away will the scores deviate from the center? Now, if I set the scale to be a small number like 1, the scores are going to cluster more closely to 80. The lowest score was 77. The highest score was 82. If I set scale to be a big number like 50, well, then the scores really deviate from the center of 80. We have some students that scored below 0, and others above 200. Let's set that back to 10. Just to ensure that no scores go below 0 or above 100, we can use the clip function. We'll reassign our NumPy array of scores. Access NumPy. Call the clip function. We have to pass in our NumPy array of scores. For any scores below 0, we'll set them to be 0. We'll clip them. For any scores above 100, we'll clip them down to 100. It's kind of like we're setting the bounds, the minimum and the maximum. All scores below 0 will be set to 0. All scores above 100 will be set to 100. Let's set the scale back to something massive, like 50. Yep, there's no scores below 0, and no scores above 100. But we don't need a scale that big. Let's add some customization. You can set the number of bins that you want as another keyword argument. This will be within the hist function for a histogram. I'll set the number of bins to be 10. We should now have 10 bins, or intervals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I were to set this to 20, we would now have 20. But I think 10 is a good number. Let's change the color. That's another keyword argument. Color equals pick a color. I'll just set my histogram to be light green. There we go. To better define the edges, you can set an edge color. 
because right now it kind of looks like one massive blob. Edge color equals, I'll set it to be black. We should get a nice outline around each interval or bin. Let's add some labels because, well, I forgot to do that. Let's add a title, PLT, called the title function. We'll say exam scores. Let's make sure that that works. Yes, it does. Let's set a label for the x-axis. PLT, called the xlabel function. We'll say score. Here we go, score. And for the y-axis, PLT, called the y-label function. Number of students. Number of students is on the y-axis. All right, everybody, so that's a histogram. It's a visual representation of the distribution of quantitative data. We're displaying the distribution of data. And well, everybody, those are histograms in Matplotlib.